Welcome to the video tutorial for Glogster EDU Basic. In just a minute or two, you'll be able to add a video to your Glog, just like this video of Kelly Clarkson on my Glog. This feature allows you to incorporate a video clip onto your Glog. It's very simple. The first thing you do is click video on your edit toolbar. You have several different options when including a video. You can upload a video, link to a video, or grab a video. Uploading a video is a file that you would already have on your computer. Linking to a video would be linking to a website that has a video, and grabbing a video would be if you had a video camera attached to your computer. I'm going to show you the linking option today, um, possibly one of the easiest. If you have a video you'd like to use, on YouTube, you simply can open a YouTube tab in your browser. And I already found a video I'd like to use, so you could take the time to find a video. And at the top of your screen, when you find the video you'd like, you simply click and copy the URL. You can right click usually to copy, highlight and copy the URL. Then you can go back to your Glogster tab and click on the link button. So again, you copy the URL from the YouTube page, go back to your Glogster tab, and click Link. You simply right-click again and paste the address into the box, and click Add to your files. It'll take a second, and it'll add the video from the web. You close the dialog box. You can see this video is added along with the other videos to my library and I simply click on the video. If I want to use it right now without a, a player or a frame, I simply click Use It. However, I can also click the Players tab and incorporate some kind of frame around my video. There's a number of categories you can use, and you can also click around the bottom to see uh, the different options, and you'll see a preview here. I'm going to try this one this time, and once you find the one you'd like, you click Use It and it will be added to your Glog. You can X out of the video box, and then you have all these same editing options you have with any of your other Glogster elements. I can move it around by dragging the arrows, I can make it bigger or smaller by dragging the corner arrows, and I can place it anywhere I'd like to on my Glog. In addition, I have the same editing options on the Edit Toolbar. And If I click inside of Editing, I can change the um, frame colors, I can add some effects, and I can also decide if I want to set up my media and have it autoplay. If you autoplay, that's going to make it play automatically when someone views your blog, or you can have it set so they have to actually press play. So you can take the time and explore those different editing options. Pretty simple, that's it. Um, be sure to check out YouTube for other tutorials for Glogster EDU Basic.